Hey loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you like videos like this one, please go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family. And if you have been here, thank you guys so much for coming back to see me. Um, so today I just wanted to quickly touch on five things that you can use uh, for your locks. Five things that you can just go ahead if you're starting locks, gather them now because you will need them. Um, it's just like a, a starter Daddy, lock. Mommy, what's she doing? Okay, so we're gonna start um, with the obvious. And if you are starting locks, one thing that you need is a very good natural oil. Um, now, based on your hair texture, based on your scalp, the oil that you use is gonna be completely different. I use 100% coconut oil, great value from Walmart. Um, you get a really big tube of it for a really great price. Um, but once again, that is something that works for me, my hair type, and my scalp. If you have you know, dry scalp, you may want to invest in a little bit of tea tree oil. It is important that you use tea tree oil only on your scalp though because it is dry and you really don't wanna put that into your hair. Um, I've seen people use olive oil. I've seen people use um, castor oil, which I use Jamaican black castor oil on my edges sometimes or on my roots. Um, it just depends. As long as it's a really good natural oil that works for your hair texture, that is what you're gonna need. You could also add rose water um it's something that i really like but you know that you will need you know some type of oil um next thing you are going to need is a spray bottle it is the easiest way to hydrate your locks um you don't want to have to you know put your hair underneath the sink and you can really distribute the hair the water evenly without soaking your hair um a lot of rose water bottles also come with the spray so that's really good too um but a spray bottle definitely it's very quick and easy to just grab um moisturize your hair and locks it's easy to forget about you know moisturizing your hair honestly because they're so carefree a spray bottle allows you to do that very quickly um i typically keep my spray bottle and my oil on my sink so when i'm done like brushing my teeth or I'm ready to go to bed at night, I can just quickly spray oil, put on my scarf and go. And speaking of scarves, of course, you will need a scarf. Um, one of the biggest questions I got was, how do I take care of my locks at night? Which I do have a night routine on my channel if you're interested in seeing that. But you need something to tie down your hair. It does not necessarily have to be a scarf. It can be a bonnet. Um, if you are comfortable, you can use a silk pillowcase, you know, if you can't keep anything with your hair, but you need something to protect your locks at night. So those three things. The next thing I will say is um, a brush. Now, there's a lot of controversy about this. You don't necessarily have to brush your locks. You don't have to brush the length of your locks. But I find stimulating the edges of your hair can often, one, be relaxing, very, but it stimulates growth. It allows for blood to flow to that area and it promotes hair growth. Um, one thing that you will notice is when your hair gets longer and longer and longer and longer, um, the weight of the locks can sometimes be a little bit tense um, on your hair. So I would definitely focus on the edges. I always use a brush and I can work in the product. Um, completely up to you. If you don't wanna use a brush, you can certainly use your hands to work in the product. But I think a brush also can help a little bit with sometimes the neatness if you're doing styles. So I would recommend just a soft brush, a very soft brush. The next thing you're going to need is a really nice shampoo all right that's going to prevent build up in your hair but that's not going to strip your hair too much now i spoke about this in some of my previous videos the shampoo you use there is no one size fits all okay it depends on what you need for your hair i had one of my subscribers tell me that she washes her hair like every three days um because that's what she needs i couldn't imagine doing that to my hair i have to wash my hair maybe every two weeks because my hair is so dry she might have a different story she might have a really really you know oily scalp or whatever so it just depends on you i used to use peppermint soap i don't use that anymore because it was too drying for me but you really do need a staple shampoo that you know is going to get the job done whenever you wash your hair that's pretty much it those are the needs of course you can add extra things in um as you need them you know if you wanted like hot oil treatments and things like that but what do you need if you just have those things you are good to go let your hair breathe let your hair relax moisturize it and you're good um so let me know what you guys think down below if you have these things if you have locks i will hope or if there's something else that you find to be like a necessity for locks let me know in the comments i love hearing from you guys 
as always thank you all so much for coming back and supporting me and my channel and i will see you in my next video bye